antique Chevrolet, and as you can see, it's quite deteriorated. And sometimes as a restorer, that's what you have to start out with. In fact, this is what I started out with on my latest project. Hi, I'm Tom Cheney. Welcome to my garage. Chevrolet touring car. So far the basic running gear has been completed and our next step is to work on the body. Everything was completely disassembled and then sandblasted to remove rust, then reassembled, given a coat of primer to smooth it out, and a final coat of polyurethane paint. It's a very tough finish. Of course any worn out gears, bushings, and bearings were replaced and readjusted, so it's mechanically restored as well. This will serve as the platform for rebuilding the body. The bodywork is here. This is the cowling, the back seat, one of the doors. The reason it doesn't look like much is there's one important part missing, and that's the wood. A unique feature of these early cars, and one of the reasons they're tough to restore, is the extensive use of wood in their construction. They're basically an elaborate framework. The metal is just nailed to the outside. That all has to be replaced. Here's an original door frame see how complicated it is and the extent of the damage. But we'll keep this to use as a pattern when we reconstruct that framework later out of a good hardwood like ash. Otherwise the metalwork is basically straightforward, rust removal, dent removal. One of the most difficult parts though is where the rust has literally eaten the metal away, where it's gone. To a restorer this type of rust is known as cancer, but fortunately this form of cancer can be cured. This is what cancer looks like. This Model A body has been totally eaten away. And you repair that with a patch panel, a new piece that's fitted on. You'll cut the old metal away, weld this into place, and when it's all smoothed out, it'll look just like new. This patch panel's out of a catalog, and that's one of the beauty parts about Model A Fords. They're a great car for the novice restorer, because almost every part of them is being reproduced these days. They're simple to work on and a lot of fun to drive. This one's going to be a sweetheart when it's done. You know, I think with just a couple of adjustments, it might make it all the way to Knoxville, Tennessee.